Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Lance truck campers and Ranger boats. Ooh, got a little gust of wind there. But we've got a beautiful day here to tour a, tour a truck camper. Even broke out the convertible hat. But this right here is the reason I brought you here today. Saturday, I took in a 2012 Lance 855S truck camper. Uh, on a new one, of course. Uh, this model right here fits your standard 250 and 350 series short bed trucks. Um, also 2500s and 3500s if you're Chevrolet, GMC, or Dodge. But uh, you would want to have a three quarter ton to one ton to haul this camper right here. Single rear wheel short bed model. Um, this one right here comes in weighing at 2,912 pounds dry and then 3,202 pounds wet. So fully loaded tanks and all you're looking at 3,200 pounds right in there But uh, anyways, we'll just kind of start from right here and work our work our way around Right up front here. You can see the pass-through window. That's actually not an option anymore So that's a cool thing to have on this one is that's a very sought-out um, Option that customers like to have Then we've got the dual pane windows Walking along, we have the two uh, 20 pound propane tanks. And this one's kind of just like the new ones. We pull off this one first and then this one last since this one has the gauge. That way we know exactly how much we have left in there. This is gonna be where you fill your fresh water tank. Just pop that cap off there and you can uh, store up to 30 pounds, or 30 pounds, 30 gallons on the go. This is going to be where you plug in for your 30 amp just right in there and then the rest of the cords uh, tucked up in here you just pull it out stick it through right here at the campground but all of your campground connections are on this driver's side underneath you have your city water connection and then your black water flush don't get those hoses mixed up moving on this is going to be where you can access um, maintenance for your six gallon hot water heater. External shower for those of you that like to rinse off outside. No judging here. And then your drop station. So you'll have your main dump lead out this large black pipe. You'll have your gray tank, your black tank. Uh, your gray tank, I believe, is uh, 25 gallons, I think. Let's see. No, your black tank is 25 gallons and your gray tank is 20 gallons. So, uh, all in all, your tanks are going to be 30 gallon on the fresh, uh, 25 on the black, and 20 on the gray. And a 6 gallon hot water heater. Then you also see that we got all electric jacks around all four corners. Don't have to pack a sandwich to crank the jacks right here on the back also you'll have a backup camera docking lights patio lights four season package so you'll have the heated basement which supplies heat to all your tanks and lines um, as long as you have the furnace going the furnace is going to use DC and gas to power Right underneath here, if you carry a quarter with you, that's a good trick for that little lock right there. But you have a hidden sewer pipe compartment. And then this one's got our famous little logo here with our phone number on it. I'll go up here to the roof uh, in a minute, show you what that looks like. But uh, also we'll, we have the manual rear awning. Optional generator. It's the Cummins Zonon 2500. Runs off the propane. You may be wondering what this is right here. That right there is so you can manually crank in this slide out in case you ever had a power failure. Alright, now we're on the passenger side. So on the passenger side what you'll find is a pass-through storage compartment here that leads to the inside of the camper those are the manual jacks for the uh, 
uh, or manual cranks for the jacks and the slide out. Got a, a little speaker there and a speaker here. And I like what somebody commented below. They said that that's for uh, pissing off your neighbors. Funny comment. I like it. Um, and then you have an external propane connection also. All right, cool. All right, let's go check out the roof. A lot of people ask if Lance has fully walk-on roofs. This ought to answer your question. Currently, I'm sitting at 222 pounds, and I'm walking all around this roof, not falling through it, don't feel any weak spots, and uh, the roof is made of a one-piece polyvinyl chloride material. But this ought to answer your question on the fully walk-on roof. Here I am just walking all over it. All right, that was fun. Let's get back. All right, so on the inside, this is the Gold Rush interior option. There's your dinette. Dinette folds down to make a bed. They say that this camper can sleep five, two in the bed, two in the dinette, one on the fold-down bunk. I guess uh, that's what they call uh, half a person um for the the children they can sleep up there um five people is going to be pretty tight in this camper i'd say two is going to be comfortable maybe three two up there and one down here but uh anyways underneath the dinette benches here there's that pass through that i was telling you about brings in a nice old breeze this one is not pass through but does add for quite a bit of storage. And then a lot of people will use that uh, fold down bunk there as uh, extra storage. I'll fold that down and show you why. So when you have that uh, bunk folded down, it adds for quite a bit of storage. You can put your lawn chairs, um, totes, luggage. I, I don't know, whatever you want to put up there. It's rated for about 200 pounds. Then you have this little safety net here to uh, hold it all in so a lot of people will use these bunks as just added storage for uh, towing then of course when you get there this is going to be stuff that you'd want to keep outside of the camper so you take it out and put it out there like grills and all that type of stuff all right so moving on uh, we control the ac and the heat through this one thermostat here there's our ac so it's pretty low profile here don't have to worry about knocking your noggin into it only way you have to, or only place you have to watch walking, knocking your noggin is right there. Bingo, you're going to take it off right there. Anyways, moving on, we've got a three-way refrigerator here. It runs on gas, AC, and DC. So you have three options there to run the pro, or the uh, the fridge off of. You have uh, propane, AC, and DC. Pretty sizable fridge. Separated freezer. Then we've got us a Camper Queen mattress up top. A little bit of storage over to the right. Then I believe we've got a closet behind door number one. Yep. Nice little closet. Got some reading lamps up there. Then we got this little TV over here in the corner. And it does swivel out, slats down right now. But you can swivel this little guy out right here towards the, uh, keep it towards the bed or face it towards the dinette, towards the kitchen, uh, wherever you'd like to place it. Got a DVD and a CD player. And then whatever this is below, I'm not really sure a little too technical for me a little bit of storage next to the radio and dvd player microwave got a three burner stove top here with an oven a little range hood above light a little bit of countertop space sink 
might be going too fast I'm not sure then underneath here we've got a little bit more storage good for putting your cleaning supplies chips whatever and then to the right it's going to be your control panel so you'll be able to check out your battery levels fresh water black water and gray water levels turn on your water pump here your water heater and a generator cool all right so we also have another closet here this is what i call the hers and hers because she'll be taking this one and the one in the bedroom area this is where i get my weights uh let's see 3202 pounds uh with factory installed equipment and uh blah 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 water and propane um 290 pounds worth of water and propane you take away from that and that's how I got my other number and let's see I had that written down that was 2,912 pounds so right under 3,000 pounds uh, dry and 3,200 wet a couple pull out drawers here hiding the remotes in there and that's where our hot water heater is and you can see there you got a bypass on it you have a bypass there and one under the sink here so you have two bypass points uh, for winterizing and i noticed that this is the year that had the really crappy latches here those always need to be adjusted this model right here the 855s has a wet bath so you get to shower with the toilet and clean it while you're showering. Get to clean two things at once. A little medicine cabinet here. And then underneath the sink, that's where you have your toilet paper holster. It's still got the toilet paper in it. I believe that's still worth a fortune. But we'll take one final look around and that'll complete it try to go a little bit slower this time Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can give me a call at 423-892-6272. This camper right here is going to be listed at $22,595. Um, NADA book on it was 20, high 23 something, whatever. But uh, we're going to sell it for $22,595. If you're serious and have any questions, I mean, just give me a call, 423-892-6272. Um, or you can email me and all that all that will be in the description below um, I'll list all the additional specs and all that good stuff for this camper down below and again this camper right here requires a 250 2500 350 3500 series short bed truck single rear wheel um, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch not gonna lie it's hot as uh, balls out here so um i've collected quite a bit of swamp ass just to show you show you guys this camper here so do me a favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh you can hit the notification bell and be notified whenever i upload another video so that'll help you stay up to date with what i've got rolling in and see if there's anything that you might be interested in until next time y'all take care and stay safe see you on the next one